Lauren Wasser woke up in a hospital bed 80 pounds heavier than she was supposed to be filled with fluids to try to flush the toxins from her body. She struggled to move, and her feet felt like they were being lit with a lighter again and again. But the American model did not know how dire her situation was until she overheard a nurse discussing the surgery that would upend her life, Wasser, just 24 years old at the time, would need a below-the-knee amputation on her right leg. I just lost it, she recalled in a telephone interview with the Washington Post. I screamed and cried. I am an athlete, my legs were everything. I had no idea what my life would be like without them. Wasser was on her period and using tampons in 2012 when she developed toxic shock syndrome. The rare but potentially fatal condition is typically caused by toxins from the bacteria Staphylococcus aureus, or Staph. Toxic shock syndrome has been associated primarily with the use of superabsorbent tampons, according to the Mayo Clinic. It can progress rapidly, the Mayo Clinic notes, advising, call your doctor immediately if you have signs or symptoms of toxic shock syndrome. This is especially important if you've recently used tampons or if you have a skin or wound infection. Wasser lost part of her right leg and the toes on her left foot in 2012, but her misery hardly ended there. I am in excruciating pain every day, she said this week. In the coming months, Wasser expects she's inevitably going to have her other leg amputated as well. Wasser requires weekly treatments to manage the damage to her left foot. The tampon tax, explained. Lately, Wasser has been warning women about potential risks associated with tampons and calling for more transparency regarding feminine hygiene products. I think this is my purpose and I wouldn't change it for the world, she said. She has given a TED Talk and posted numerous photos on Instagram, showing her modeling while wearing a prosthetic leg. Too tough to die, today marks five years since almost losing my life to TSS. Today is my live day, number TBT number it's no Tourette's real. A post shared by Lauren Wasser, at the Imposiblemuse, on October 3, 2017 at 7.06 p.m. PDT. She has also been promoting legislation aiming to push the National Institutes of Health to help determine whether certain elements of feminine hygiene products are safe. Deborah Kotz, a spokeswoman for the Food and Drug Administration, said that the agency considers tampons that have been approved for marketing to be safe for women. Kotz said that all tampons, which are class 2, or intermediate risk, devices, must receive clearance from the agency to be sold in the United States. As part of the clearance process, Kotz said, tampon manufacturers are urged to provide the FDA with a list of component materials, such as chemicals, additives, finishing agents used, and a risk analysis concerning vaginal injury, tissue reactions, and infections. Manufacturers are also advised to conduct microbiology testing to demonstrate that the tampon does not enhance the growth of certain bacteria or other organisms, including the bacteria known to cause toxic shock syndrome, and demonstrate that tampons meet their claimed absorbency level. Vice reported in 2015 that Wasser's family filed a lawsuit against the Kimberly Clark Corp., which manufactures and distributes Catex tampons in the United States. The suit also named the grocery stores where Wasser used to buy the products.